Hi guys, welcome back to Mad About Designs. In this tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to design this cam and follower mechanism using Autodesk Fusion 360. This assembly is consisting of four components, and they are the base, shaft, follower, and the cam. Here are the dimensions of the components and the tools and commands we are going to use in this tutorial. If you are new to this channel, do subscribe to us and turn on the bell notification. I make tutorials on designing for beginners and advanced users. So without wasting time, let's get into it. First create a new design by going to files, select new design. The unit we are going to use in this tutorial is centimeter. Create a new component and give it a name cam. Keep it active and click OK. Create a new sketch on the front plane. Go to center dia circle. Select the center as the origin and give it a dia of 3 cm. Now draw two concentric circles of diameter 5.5 cm and 8 cm respectively. Now draw another circle vertically aligned with the origin of diameter 4 cm. Go to sketch dimensions, select these two centers and give a vertical distance of 6 cm. Uncheck the show dimensions option to view our sketch clearly. Go to sketch line command, select the first point on this circle and the second point on this one making it tangent with the circle. Repeat the same on this side. Under constraints, go to tangent, select this line and the circle so that the line will be tangent to the circle. Repeat the same on the right side. Now go to two point rectangle and change it to center point rectangle. Select the center as the origin and give it a dimension of 4 by 0.5 cm square. Delete these two construction lines. Go to trim command and trim out these unnecessary portions as follows. Delete this part. Here is our sketch ready. Finish sketch. Go to extrude command. Select these profiles. and extrude them symmetrically up to a distance of 1 cm. Operation new body, click OK. Now turn on the visibility of previous sketch by going here. Go to extrude command again, select this profile, extrude it up to 1.5 cm and change the direction to symmetric. Operation new body, click OK. Turn off the visibility of previous sketch. Here is our cam ready. Now go to main assembly, create another component and give it a name follower. Keep it active and click OK. Create a new sketch on the front plane. Under create go to project or you can directly press P to go to project. Selection filter specify identities, turn on the projection link and select this arc. Click OK. Go to center dia circle and change it to 2 point. Select the first point as this quadrant and give it a dia of 3 cm. Now go to center dia circle and draw a concentric circle of dia 2 cm. Now go to two point rectangle command, uncheck the show dimension option, select the first point as this quadrant and give it a dimension of 20 by 2 cm square. Now go to trim command and trim out these unnecessary portions. Finish sketch. Go to extrude command, select these profiles and extrude it up to 
6.75 cm. Change the direction to Symmetric, Operation New Body and click OK. Right click and repeat extrude. Turn on the visibility of previous sketch. Select these profiles and give a distance of 1 cm. Operation New Body, Direction Symmetric and click OK. Hide the previous sketch. Here you can see two of our bodies are overlapping on each other. So go to combine command. For the target body, select this one and as the tool bodies, select this cylinder. Change the operation to cut and check the skip tools option. Click OK. Here our follower is ready. Go to main assembly. Create a new component and give it a name shaft. Keep it active and click OK. Create a new sketch on this face of our cam. Here it is. Press P to go to project, selection filter, specified entities and select this area. Turn on the projection link and click OK. Finish sketch. Go to extrude, click on this profile and extrude it backward up to minus 3 cm. Operation new body, click OK. Now create a cylinder on this face. Select the center as the geometric center of this cylinder. Give it a dia of 3 cm and a height of 18 cm. Operation join, click OK. Here is our shaft ready. Go to our main assembly. Create a new component and give it a name base. Keep it active and click OK. Click on the right plane. Create a new sketch on this one. Press P to go to project. Selection filter bodies and turn on the projection link. Select this body, our shaft and click OK. Go to two point rectangle, select the first point on this edge, give it a dimension of 0.5 by 4 cm square. Go to sketch dimension, select this point and this edge and give a horizontal distance of 6 cm. Go to line command, draw a vertical line, select the first point as the midpoint of this edge. Give it a length of 16 cm, continuing a horizontal line of length 8 cm. Now go to fillet command, click on this corner and fillet it up to 3 cm. Finish sketch. Go to revolve and select these profiles. For the axis, you can click this body of our shaft. Type full operation new body and click OK. Now turn on the visibility of previous sketch by going here. Go to pipe command. For the path, select this one. Distance 1, section circular and section size 2 cm. That is our diameter. Operation new body and click OK. Now go to construct and click on plane at angle. Select this line and specify the angle as 0 degree. Click OK. We will create a new sketch on this plane. For the convenience of our work, we can turn off the visibility of cam and shaft. Press P to go to project, selection filter bodies and we will select this body from our follower. Turn on projection link and click OK. Go to offset command and select this square. Give it a offset distance of 0.5 cm and click OK. Finish sketch. 
go to extrude command and click on this profile extrude it upward up to 1.5 cm direction symmetric operation join and click ok go to combine command select these two bodies operation join and uncheck the skip tools option click ok here is our base ready turn off the visibility of sketch one go to our main assembly here all of our components are not joined together and they are free to move so revert to the original position before assigning any joints we need to ground one of our components we will ground this base one so right click on it and ground it so this won't be moved from original position whereas the other can be easily revert to the original position now start assigning joints between them go to as build joint for the components select the shaft and the base change the motion type to revolute and for the position select this center of the cylinder or you can select this center too it is revolving in right direction so click ok right click and repeat as build joint for components select the cam and the shaft motion type rigid click ok right click and repeat as build joint for the components select the follower and the base motion type slider and for the position select this edge here you can see our follower is sliding in right direction click ok now after assigning all the joints right click on revolve one and animate model here you can see our cam and follower is not moving accordingly in order to move our follower go to assemble and click on enable contact sets right click on it and create new contact set for the components select our cam and the follower click ok now if we go to joint and animate model here you can see our follower is moving in accordance to the cam but it is not returning to its original position in order to do so right click on our sliding joint and edit joint limit and turn on the rest option at a distance of 0 cm click ok now if we make our model animate here you can see our follower is sliding in accordance to the cam here is our assembly ready it's time to assign some colors press a to go to appearance i'm going to apply this metallic black yellow and white color on them thank you guys for watching this video if you like this hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel see you in the next video till then keep designing and design whatever you love bye bye